So it's a real honor to have Neil Ford over here. He has nothing to do with Ford Motors, I believe. That's correct. Uh, lots to do with that works. Neil uh, is one of the most influ influential person when it comes to uh, you know programmers, developers, uh, doing a lot of interesting work on uh, you know some of his books are really influential. So it's been a real honor reading his books and having him over here in person this time. Thanks, Neil. Thank Can we get the uh, slides flipped over, please? There we go. All right, good morning. Uh, my name is Neil Ford, and my keynote this morning is called When Geek Leaks, uh, which is going to require some explanation, of course. And I will start with defining the word geek. And there are several definitions of geek out in the world. One is a carnival performer who does things like bites the, the heads off of live chickens. That is not the kind of geek I'm talking about. Another geek that you might think I'm talking about is a computer expert or enthusiast. Uh, and I actually take offense by this definition, which I got from Webster's, that says, considered offensive when used by outsiders. I don't think computer experts being called geeks should be offensive to outsiders. That's kind of offensive to me as a self-professed geek. But this is not the kind of geek I'm talking about either. This is the other definition that I have some complaints with, a particularly dislikable person perceived to be overly intellectual. I think that's also not a good definition of geek. But I'm going to use this definition as a verb. Now, generally, I don't like using nouns as verbs. I don't like the word antiquing as a verb, for example. But I think this verb works really nicely to spend an inordinate amount of time utterly immersed in an activity that seems not that interesting to your spouse and your family and all the other people you're around. This is the kind of geek that I'm talking about. And in fact, the topic of my keynote this morning is called When Geek Leaks. And what I'm talking about here is when some really serious devotion, some really serious geekery from one problem domain leaks all over another problem domain and creates really interesting synergies when that happens. And what I'm going to do during this talk is give you a bunch of examples of geek leaking from one domain to the other, both in the technology world and some surprising non-technological places where that happens. And let me give you an example, a real world example of this. The kind of thing that drives my wife crazy. Let's say that you go to a McDonald's. There's one in the mall next door here. 